Hey guys, welcome to this training ground session for CSL CSGO. My name is Epsilon and I'm from Université de Montréal. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be about basic stuff that anyone who starts playing CS should know before even getting started playing the game itself. So it's going to be about hardware that you need to get and software configuration. Essentially it's going to be about that. So I must have talking to you guys who just started playing. I don't think like pros and UBC players, for example, would be interested in this video. But anyway, you should watch it. So maybe you you'll learn a few things. Anyway, uh, let's get started with the hardware you need to get first. So the computer. So first, let's talk about the computer stuff. If you already have a good computer, just skip this part. But if you're planning to upgrade yours or to build a new one, then definitely go to a 97 or 95 processor from Intel those are simply the best play counter strike in good conditions and AMD is just not as good as Intel right now so you need to get a 97 or 95 although I would recommend more an i5 an i7 than an i5 because the last updates of CSGO shown uh, showed us that you know becoming more and more consuming and you can get FPS drops with i5 when you're on train or nuke for example with like several smokes and stuff like that so depending on your budget just go for an i7 or stick to an i5 anyway you'll be able to play in really good conditions it's just about long term th long term things if you can afford the i5 the i7 I would recommend to go for it but anyway, you'll be able to play in good conditions with both of them, so it's your call, guys. Now about the graphic cards. I think you need to know that kind of strike doesn't require such a powerful graphic card. So you can just stick to a GTX 1060 from NVIDIA or a Norex 470 from AMD. Those two cards will guarantee you to have like more than 200 FPS in any cases most of the time but anyway it will depend on your processor as well so you need to get the i5 or the i5 or the i7 as I said before anyway just get one of those it's below two hundred dollars and it would do the work pretty well so it's your choice AMD, Nvidia both are good I prefer Nvidia personally but it's your call about the rest of the configuration, just be sure to get 8 gigabytes minimum for the RAM, and then you're actually free to get whatever you want. It just needs to be compatible, of course, so just watch out. And you know, get an SSD. Life is easier with an SSD. But yeah, it will have no impact in the in Counter Strike, so it's your call again. It's time to talk about the mouse now. So, for an FPS player, it's very important, it's quite obvious. And the DPI are not important, uh, by the way. So, just if you thought the DPI were important, just you know, erase this from your head. This is not. There are two things that are important in the mouse right now those are the shape and the sensor. The sensor must be optical. And also must be the PMW3310 from Pixart or the PMW3360 from Pixart as well. Uh, the 3366 is basically the same as the 60. So those are good. Basically the 3310 is included in every Zoe gear mouse, so the FK, the Z Day or the EC1, EC2. Those Zoe are very good mouses. The shape is well known for its comfort and stuff. But although you have the Logitech one, like the G403, that is brand new, I think it came out in this fall, I think. So its shape is very good as well, a bit larger than the Zoe, but you can get used to it. It depends on your, your hand size as well, so 
it's your choice, but just keep in mind that this, the sensor must be optic and also optical and also featuring the 3310 or the 3360. Because if it, if it doesn't, you may have trouble with the tracking and stuff like that. Because in CS:GO, the 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 sensitivity is low, and it may lose track of the mouse when it goes very fast. So it doesn't make sense to take another another mouse that doesn't feature this ones so just keep in mind and maybe do some research because sometimes manufacturers don't show the the sensor model on their page so you need to get some research about it and then you find out that it's using or not the Pixar PMW anyway uh, so you have several trademarks like Razer, Deshader, Elite I think like Steel Series the Rival 300 that features the 3310 from Avago. Uh, you have uh, pretty much uh, some Logitechs, the G Pro that features the 3366, I think. Yeah. So you have a good bunch. You have the Final Mouse Scream one that features the 3360 as well. You have so many mouses. Um, I think yeah, it's pretty much all. Then you need to pick a mouse pad, and I'll tell you right now, to play Counter Strike, you need a big one. And by big one, I mean that big. What is it? right there? I mean yeah, it's quite big. It's not the XXL though; it's the QCK Plus Plus, or the heavy. Uh, it's actually the same size. But anyway you need to get this this is how you play Counter Strike you need to move your mouse from there to there in a quite smooth movement so you cannot you know replace your mouse every time you need to uh, be able to perform such movements so I would recommend the Steel Series QCK Heavy or the QCK Plus depending on the quality of the table you have because the Heavy is much more like thick I think this is how you say in English. Anyway, you can also take the Rockat Taito king size on the, or any big size model like that, Logitech G240. There are actually a lot of mousepads that that will be enjoyable. Just be sure the the size is okay, so you need to get the large one. Okay now the monitors. The only thing you need to know about monitors is that you need to get a 144Hz monitor. Uh, this is way smoother than a 60Hz monitor. And even if you don't trust me because you think the human eyes cannot see more than 30 images by second or, or anything, just test it, by your, test it by yourself and you'll see. The difference is huge. I mean, it's way smoother, it's way more responsive in the... I don't know, well, it's way better in any sense. Anyway, the one would I, that I would recommend would be the Asus VG248. That is the cheapest right now, I think. But you can also take the pink Q1. Those are pretty much the same. I think the the Asus features a display port as well, so could make a difference, but those are actually the same. Just pick one, and you'll be you'll be ready to rock in Counter Strike. Another interesting topic: the headphones. Having a good sound in CS is very important, but let's say it right now: it's not about your headphone. The headphone is a comfort thing. It helps you uh, feeling good with your headphone on your head and everything. And having a good sound can be really enjoyable when you're listening to music or even playing Counter-Strike but the fact that you hear someone behind you or on your right or above you has nothing to do with the headphone you have so you can play with uh, some uh, earplugs it will be very good as well to just to, to know where people are although I recommend the HyperX Cloud Gaming because this is my personal best the sound is very good and 
I like to listen to music with it and stuff like that, so this is my personal best and it's not that very, very expensive, so go for this one or maybe for a Sennheiser those ones are very good as well, Even the sound is even a bit better I think, but not totally sure, this one is a bit more expensive as well it's the last one from Sennheiser those are my personal best, I know several headphones exist but as long as it's not that important in game I let you choose whatever you don't need a uh, 7.1 uh, Pro Logic to whatever it's not useful considering Counter Strike only supports stereo so there it is to end with the hardware things let's talk about keyboards so first of all keyboards are not important if you have money if you run out of money save it for something else than the keyboard you can play with a basic logitech keyboard a microsoft keyboard it will do the trick but if you want some comfort playing with mechanical switches is something very very comfortable i would say I mean, yeah, red switches, black switches, brown switches, feels amazing when you type on it. So, my personal best would be the Corsair K70, if I had the money for it, that's one of the best. You can go for MX brown thing, or for MX red switches. Don't go for the blue because they make so much noise. That's pretty much the only recommendation I will have about the switches. The blue, the... the the brown, the red and the black ones are good. Also, you can get a much simpler one like the SteelSeries 6G V2. Uh, this price makes no sense though. It's supposed to be like $80 or something. I don't understand why it's that price there, but whatever. You should be able to find it like a lot cheaper, I guess. Uh, this has no light though. But it's quite simpler. And it has like black mechanical switches as well and also you could be interested in getting a, a small keyboard like that amputated of the numeric part this is very enjoyable when you're getting to LAN parties and you have no space on your table with your mates spreading out their stuff then you'll be able to manage your space how you want and that can be very enjoyable when you're at, when you're at LAN parties Anyway, that's pretty much everything about the keyboards. Again, it's not that important. Alright guys, we're done with the things we have to buy before getting started with the game. So next time we'll talk about the software configuration you have to make in order to be ready to play, ready to rock in the game. So, I guess that's all. Have a good time. Bye bye. See you soon.